Hey guys, welcome back to the Toy Box Collectibles. My name's Cupquake. I'm here with my husband, Red. Hey, what's up guys? It's Red. And we have some really awesome stuff to show you guys. Yes, we do. We have a lot of awesome different collectibles and, and pins. And art. And, art. and just... We, designer toys. Yeah, we went to DesignerCon. Yeah. If you guys follow us on Snapchat, there was a ton of stuff that we snapped from DesignerCon. It was our first year going, and there was so much amazing stuff there. There we was. Just had to share it with you guys. Yeah, we got there not really expecting anything. We just kind of just went in, and we, we heard a lot of good things about mm -hmm. it. And then the moment we stepped in, we're like, whoa. There is so much here. Just to give you guys an idea, we expected to spend like two hours maybe. We ended yeah. up spending like six hours on the floor. Just one day. For one day and then and we then, went back a second day. Yeah. So it was a lot of fun. It was and awesome. we discovered a lot of really cool artists and creative people and we wanted to share them with you guys. We also got a bunch of art prints there's a fly. No, no, no. Get out of here, fly. No. This is the brochure they gave us over there. So, the designer um, con brochure. Yeah. And uh, there was there was a tons of things from like collectibles to actual art to prints to anything you could think of, all creative stuff. If you yeah. guys are in like, I, I don't know if it's world, like if they have it at different places or. I don't think so. I think it's only here. Yeah, if you guys should make it out next year. It's a local um, event. We'll definitely be going. Yeah, we actually ran into some fans over there. We did! It was awesome. We did, we wasn't expecting that. Yeah, it was really cool. So, yeah, we're gonna show you guys some of the actual, like, collectible slash figures that we got. And then we're gonna show you guys all of the art prints and everything we got over on the IS Cupquake channel. Yeah. Because we're gonna do a little vlog there, too. Yeah. So. Cool. Let's. Uh, should we go down the line? Yeah. Well, let's start with these guys. So, Sweet. first up, are these little dudes? Yep. Uh, these guys, Yetis and Friends. Yetis and Friends are the creators. I'm trying to get it in the bottom camera so you guys can see. Oh yeah. Uh, but they're these adorable little creatures, and yeah. you put them on your wall. It's like a little, you know, fake animal head display thing, but they have so many different creatures and different sizes to choose from. Yeah. I fell in love with this one because she is magical. She, she has, has a, a very magical. Little, yeah, she has a little unicorn yeah, look glitter. Yeah, look at them together, how they look. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these guys are really awesome. Um, they have a very mysterious type of mystical feel to them. Yeah. And that's something that like we liked a lot about. We're, when we walked over to their booth, we we're like, whoa! Magical, totally magical. See them, seeing them all up on the wall, you're like, oh, I just want to get all of them. Yeah, and it's a husband and wife team. Yeah, it is. Which is something that we love. Yeah. So these are our Yetis and friends, and we actually bought two more. Yeah. But we have them at our house. <laughs> yeah. So these are for the office, and we have two at the house. Yeah, yeah, the other ones are a little bigger. These are. Uh, I don't know what the size of these are. I don't know what the company. These are like the, the small ones. Those are like the mid large ones. Yeah, so these are our Yetis and yeah. friends. And then you want to start, like, we'll, we'll alternate sides. Yeah. Okay. And we'll keep the middle clear so we could show the camera. I guess we'll start with this one. Okay. Um, so this one is an adorable little, I guess, like a little plush slash. A bear boy setup. doing the woods. It says, what does a bear boy do in the woods? Yeah. And I guess he poops. He just poos everywhere. <laughs> yeah. uh, but this is by the artist is Sao Zen. And Sao they're Zen. little plushies. Uh, and they make adorable plushies, by the way, too. Like little figures. Yeah. This is their first little like display. And the tree is actually magnetic. So it comes off and you can like break it down if you need to travel. Um, it's it's actually a really good idea because yeah um, when she was giving this to us I was like how are we yeah how are we gonna, gonna take, take this around she's like oh the tree comes off yeah so yeah that's this was one of my tr my picks yeah I mean I mean if, I mean I like it you too you like it too but this was my thing that <laughs> I mean I you could like it too whatever <laughs> I bought it for my display and then there's this cute little rocks that she has glued on and then the poo. Yeah. So I think this is just super cute. And I like the mixture of like the felt with yeah. like the, the clay and then and you know, the, the rock, rock and then the moss. The yeah, I just love the whole little thing. It's yeah. just so adorable. It's like a cool little scene. It makes me know? happy. It makes me happy, which is why I bought it. 
makes you happy to, to know like a little bear that could poop. Bear poops in the woods. Yeah, it poops in the woods. So yeah, I'm gonna set them aside. Set them over here. Nice. And you go ahead and choose. We could talk about this one next. Okay. This one, uh, actually, this happened to us a lot. We would walk by a certain aisle or booth and we did be a lot of people there and we walk, walk by again and we're like, whoa, we didn't see yeah. this. And this is one of them. Uh -huh, we sure. almost missed this. This one, uh, it's actually with this card right here. It's called the Abori Keepers of the Forest. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think I'm saying that right. Um, but I don't have the artist name on here. There was so many artists there and we bought so many things just because we liked them. I think the Abori Emily Sculpts. Sculpts. Emily Sculpts. Yeah. It's good to have the name yeah, on underneath. the actual piece because when we go there, we're just, there's so much, so yeah. many artists, we just buy them and then forget yeah. who. But she did a really good job on these. She had like a whole bunch of different ones. Some of them yeah. had flowers coming out from the, the dragon. Uh -huh. um, and these are all hand sculpted, right? Yes. Hand sculpted, um, which is pretty cool. And she had different colored pots. Yeah. We're, we almost got a white one, and then we saw this one. It was like at the very bottom, and we're like, let's get this one. This I awesome. think it's amazing, and I love it. I just love It's really cool. The magical. I, just, I really like magical, it mystical has, things. It has a very, like, uh, Japanese type style look it to it. I, th I think the ones that she had, the ones that had the flowers, they were like cherry blossom. It reminded yeah. me of the cherry blossom. Yeah, cherry but blossom. It's tree. like this beautiful beast of the forest. Yeah, something so, like that you would see maybe in like Lord of the Rings or. I don't like, know. I love it. Or even Game of Thrones. Yeah, so this was another little piece. Yeah. that we got. Yeah, this one's pretty awesome. Um, pretty I'm gonna cool. talk about these two and I'll let you talk about this one. Okay. So these little guys. Yeah, these are sweet. Uh, these are from a artist, I guess it's called Odd Fauna. Uh huh, Odd Fauna. Um, and she has her signature on the bottom. Yeah. These. Yeah, she has several different color yeah. variations of this one. So this is a little wolf. And I liked this one because there was like detail, little dots around the eyes and everything. Yeah. Um, and this is really, really heavy. It's um, hand sculpted too, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's, I, don't, I think it might be clay. Yeah, it's definitely clay. So It's really heavy. Yeah, it's really, really heavy, but it's nice. It's yeah. super, super nice. And then this little guy, I forgot what his name is, but I had red shoes out a character that he liked. She yeah. had these too, so she had multiple, like different type of creatures. They were odd yeah. fauna, and um, he chose out this one, so we have two together. Yeah, what I liked about this one was the, um, I guess you could say like the metallic iridescent type of color on the the, the whole helmet it was pretty nice, and yeah. then it, it, there's like a matted type of color on the horns. It's really nice, and he's smiling, guys. His face. He's a cute creature. He's smiling to everybody. So that was those ones. We'll move it aside and go ahead and you can. Oh, talk about so that. I saw this guy. He did. Uh, he would take these stormtrooper helmets, and he would just custom paint them. And I really like this one a lot because I like Iron Man a lot. He's one of my favorite heroes, and I was like. We need to get this. I'm geeking out about this right here. And it was his last one too. I don't yeah, think- Yeah, well, cause he hand paints them. They're all different. Yeah. And this is vinyl. So I think you can see on the bottom. Yeah, it's vinyl. Um, he had other ones. He has one that looked like your dad picked it up. It was like the really rustic feel to it. Yeah. And he had another one that was like a, a Boba Fett inspired one, but I really like the Iron Man. It's cool. It's like two of my Something. favorite yeah. platforms. Mixed together. Platforms. Yeah. Characters. Or IPs. Characters. Yeah, IPs. Yeah. And then do you want to. Let's show off the little pillow. Okay. So I completely, like I was saying, uh, I completely forgot her name. I want to say it's like Linda Panda or Lisa Panda. It starts with an L. I know that. We'll put the info we'll in the description. We'll put the info in the description for you guys if you're yeah. interested. But she, uh, she's an artist and she made these little pillows and I thought they were so adorable. She drew these characters and made the hand sewn the pillows. So uh, it's really well made. It is really well made. It's so cute, and I wanted it for like, I don't know, for fun. Yeah, it's so cute. Yeah, and they had so many plushies there too. We didn't even buy any plushies. No, there, there was, was just too many. So, so much stuff. So yeah, I just we, thought I would show that to you guys. We too. gotta make a couple of trips back to the car because we have bought so many prints and you know collectibles. So yeah. Plushies we missed. Well, next year we'll, we'll get to Yeah. 
Um, yeah. so I really like this too, though. I just thought it was so cute. Nice. And then you go ahead and show off the. So, as you guys know, we love Joe Ledbetter and all of his artwork and designer collectibles. Toys. And he was there. Yeah. He had a booth at DesignerCon, and we stopped by, and we, he actually, uh, his wife gave us some of these the awesome pins. pins. He came out with some pins, and um, also keychains. Key these keychains are really nice. So, I like these a lot. Yeah, he had actually had a DesignerCon exclusive of the Catzilla, uh, and it was like a different colorway, but it was nice seeing a, an artist that we actually yeah, support. Yeah, there was a lot of artists there yeah. that, we knew of that we actually were able to talk with and meet yeah. and just it was awesome. Who's, so whose artwork we're you know we're fans of. But yeah. It was sweet. So thanks again guys for yeah, giving us these. Yeah, thank you guys. Yeah. Um, another artist that we saw there that I absolutely love is Jeremiah Kettner and we bought one of his original painted uh, they're, I guess they're called gumdrops. Yeah. Um, so he paints like the unicornos and he's an artist himself too. He has original pieces that we have. Um, but I decided to actually buy a hand painted piece. So yeah. it's my, our first one. It's our yeah. first Jeremiah Kettner painted piece. And I think it's freaking adorable. Yeah, he's done a really good job yeah. on the paint, on you know painting this. Like even with the hair, the strokes is so nice. It's so so cute. If I tried I to paint it. this, it would be it would be scribbly. Yeah, so I just really really wanted. Oh look, he signed it on the bottom too. Yeah. Um, really wanted to support him. He has amazing art. I love, I love his, his stuff. Artwork. Yeah. I I really love his stuff, and I just had to have an original painted piece. So yeah. that's that was my splurge. It's always it's always good to support. You yeah, know, your artist. you don't feel as bad because you're supporting an artist. And yeah, you're supporting this is their what work. they do for a living, you know. Yeah, so to support their family, so it's it's and, for a good cause. It's awesome. Yeah. So the very last one, we did have some more stuff, but we had so many bags. Yeah. We left some of the stuff at home on accident, so we'll show you guys. We'll do some unboxings of some stuff. Yeah, but. Um, but this one's pretty cool. This one is by Art of Dave. Art of Dave. And he makes these awesome uh, wood cutouts. And we bought this one of BMO. So we could kind of- Punch it out. Yeah, so, you punch it out. Yeah, you punch out the different little pieces and then it comes with this little card right here and it tells you how to assemble them. Yeah, so and that's one piece right then there. Then you get to have a little collectible of whatever character you buy. So yeah. he also had a couple other characters. We uh, we uh, suggested to him he should do something Minecraft related. Yeah, he was so, like, that'll be easy. Yeah, be it's really square, easy. I mean. Yeah, I think that's his next project. I think he um, may be, um, I think he may be a teacher or something. He is, he, he said that he is a teacher and he, I guess, let's he, he has his, it in class. Yeah, his students do this. Um, so, do you want to follow the directions and uh, smell like fresh wood? Ooh! I love the smell of wood. That smells really good. Yeah. Okay, here, let me let me punch out the legs. Okay. And the buttons. We could assemble this All real right. quick. I think this would be the head. Go. Okay. And this is also, like, this one wasn't, because some of these pieces are, since they're all handmade, hand-painted, hand-sewn, they can get a little pricey. But um, this one was probably one of the cheaper. Yeah. Um, most one of the cheaper ones. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to put this together, honestly, because we don't have glue. Do we need glue? Yeah. Well, maybe not. I think, hold on, let me try and see if I could assemble it together without having to use. So now it won't come out. You don't need glue. You don't need glue, people. All right, so then let's flip this over and then. There's a little BMO right here. Look at him. Yeah. Little BMO. And then I guess these little pieces, like his face, you have to glue on. Yeah. Voila! So there he is, and then you just gotta glue on the extra little parts, but we don't have glue right now, so. We don't have but glue. But we thought it was really cool. Yeah, we liked so, it a lot. We were like, this is hey, actually a pretty cool idea. Yeah. His leg like, fell off. We'll just let BMO be. Yeah. BMO, there just go. be BMO. There yeah. we go. There's some, we're doing something wrong. Yeah, I'm not snapping it in right or something. Yeah. But we thought it was a cool idea, yeah. and it looks pretty cool. Everything made out of wood. We'll have to glue this stuff on later. Yeah. Um, but wood, yeah. guys. Wood. Build a bot. 
build a box. And look, he could be sad too. You could put this sad face on him too if you want him to be sad, but. He's like, oh yeah, he's you happy. could switch his face. But why would you want him to be sad? No. Well, Bimo will be happy all happy the time. Happy Bimo. Yeah. Cool, so. Awesome, well, this is a really sweet little collection that we got here. I didn't even notice yeah. how many different things we got. We got a lot, until, we got a big variety of things. Until we got it, we put it all Spread here. Spread it all, yeah. Yeah, it's a good so, little. We, we hope you guys enjoyed this, um, and we'll put um, info in the description because some of the stuff we need to double check on. Um, but let yeah. us know what you guys think. What is your favorite thing out of all of these? I, I think, I don't know. I like, we bought everything. I was like, I have a little connection to everything, but I must say, these are so unique. And yeah, they are. Make me so happy. <laughs> They are. They're, I just love them. I love to see it when we have it hung up on a wall. Like, they're just smelling at you. You're like, hey! <laughs> hey there, how are you doing? It's so awesome. Yeah, so we hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, yeah, check out their, their stuff. We'll, we'll have a link in the description for all of these. And make sure you let them know that we sent you over. Yeah. Yeah, Sweet. awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! See ya!